I am Dr. Jonathan Reed. I am a vampire. Born anew into an age of death and pestilence, while plotting factions close in around me, I am sworn to find the source of this epidemic. I am convinced greater perils are still to come. I know the answers I seek are hiding in our blood. Hello, sir. Sorry to disturb you at this hour. I'm a doctor inquiring about the epidemic. May I come in? A doctor, you say? No, thank you. All right. I shan't insist. Goodbye for now, sir. Good evening, sir. It's me again. Leave me alone, I say, whoever you are. All right. I shan't insist. Goodbye for now, sir. You're mine, yeah. vermin! You Londoners are no match for me! You cannot win this! Good evening, sir. It's me again. Leave me alone, I say, whoever you are. It cannot be safe for a blind man to live here alone. Let me enter, sir. I swear I mean you no harm. Well, a voice never lies, and yours clearly is the voice of a gentleman. All right, doctor, come on in. Tell me, how do you see the world these days? So what is the name of my nocturnal visitor? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. As I already explained to you, I'm inquiring about the epidemic. Dr. Reed? The eminent surgeon? My god! I'd never have expected a brilliant physician like you to knock on my door. You flatter me, sir. No, sir, I am flattered. I read all your work when I still had my sight. I loved it. I'm Mason Swanborough, by the way. And what else have you learned about me, Mr. Swanborough? I know you assisted Professor Carell in France, and that you invented a new blood transfusion method based on his work. Yes. 
Those were frustrating but exciting days. I loved it. Yes, the thrill of research and discovery. This is what drives people like us, Dr. Reed. Oh, how I envy you. Does someone take care of you in this isolated place? My sister Loretta and I have our daily routine. Every morning and evening she comes by so we can talk and eat. Then she leaves and I stay. Where does your sister go? Well, let's just say, she earns enough money for us both. What's so amusing about that? I won't hide the truth from you. Loretta sells a fake miracle elixir to the sick people of Whitechapel. Do you not appreciate your sister's visits? Loretta is the best and worst thing that happened to me, and I believe she could say the same thing about me. You seem unwell, sir. Do you need my assistance? Actually, I feel worse than usual. Can you give me something? Yes. I can give you a little something that has been proven effective. Thank you, Doctor. How is the sanitary situation evolving in Whitechapel these days? I hear them hissing and scratching at my door every night. The sick made mad by the fever. But these walls are thick, and my lock is solid. Do you know Braille, Mr. Swanborough? I'm no expert, but I learned it in my spare time, yes. Why? I found a strange document entitled Cure for Blindness. It's written in Braille, so I thought perhaps it was yours. Really? Is that some kind of sick joke? Let me see. Here it is. This letter seems authentic, and... Actually refers to an experimental cure for blindness. You have piqued my interest, Dr. Reed. Could it be of any use to you? No. This page is just a part of a larger diary. I'd be glad if you could find the other pages. I found another page of the diary, Mr. Swanborough. This diary is still not complete. The man who wrote it claims he is a member of some scholarly brotherhood called the St. Paul's Stole. Really? I've heard of them. Very capable scientists. Perhaps the man who wrote this really found a cure. I would need more pages to figure it out, but it's as promising as it is intriguing. Here is another page of the diary we were talking about. Ah, now we're talking. Ingredients? Dosages, dangers, and side effects, this is it. Is the diary complete now? No. The author tested his work in a hidden laboratory. We must find out where it was. Please, find me more pages, Doctor. Goodbye, Mr. Swanborough. I'll leave you now. Tell me, how do you see the world these days? You're either brave or a fool. It's locked, all right. Pays visits to people at this late hour. What kind of gentleman pays visits to people at this late hour? Loretta, your miraculous formula wouldn't even cure a common cold, and you know it. The Swanborough's cordial secret ingredient is hope, Doctor. And it's something people around here really need. A placebo effect is real and has benefit. But in your case, 
You could be murdering your customers, who may die because they are not receiving the necessary medical attention. Medical attention? In Whitechapel? Trust me, my cordial is the best option they have, since it is the only one. You're just a greedy hypocrite. Hypocrite? What about an eminent physician prowling these streets at night? I'm sure you have a personal agenda too, Doctor. Loretta, why do you feel so guilty about your brother? I don't expect him to forgive me. All I can do is make amends for what I did. By making him a crook and a criminal? What if somebody decides to make him pay for your scam? Mason is totally capable of defending himself. Just leave us be. We're perfectly fine. I know how guilt feels between a brother and sister. Are you sure you're not trying to ease your own remorse? Mason wants to be useful. Can you understand that? And chemistry is his passion. And the Swanborough Cordial gives him a purpose in life. I'd like to see what kind of medicine you're selling. More Braille. I should bring this to Mason Swanborough. Oh, please, I don't have your money. Come on, Barry. Every game you pay for peace of mind. Can't you just look the other way this week, Joe? Fancy buying something, sir? You never lose your focus, do you? Right then, show me what you have.
domain, young Econ! Good evening, Mr. Swanborough. Is it you, Dr. Reed? Please come in. 
wandering in this part of town at night, you're either brave or a fool. What can I do for you, Doctor? Here is another page of the formula for the cure for blindness. Give it to me? Yes. Brilliant. I'm going to give you the location and the code you will need to find the cure, but you have to listen to me first. Why? What is it? If you find the proof that this treatment for blindness is real, I want to try it. Do you understand? No matter the risks. Risks? What have you read in these pages that you're not telling me? You already know what you need to know. I trust you, Dr. Reed. We share the same passion for science. Please bring back the formula. Why does your sister feel so guilty about what happened to you? Because she knows I'll never forgive what she did to me. You run an illegal business with someone you hate? I don't hate my sister. She looks after me, we have a good time. But I'm just not ready to forgive her. Your sister seems to believe this miracle elixir business is somehow doing you good. Loretta believes that keeping busy is what I need to be happy. And is she wrong? My sister is wrong about almost everything. But as long as she thinks she's in charge, she can be nice. Goodbye, Mr. Swanborough. I'll leave you now. Tell me. How do you see the world these days?
It's locked.
It's locked.
Good evening, Mr. Swanborough. Is it you, Dr. Reed? Please come in. Tell me, how do you see the world these days? What can I do for you, Doctor? I have found the secret laboratory, and I have the formula. And the author of the diary, did you meet him? Yes. He was badly disfigured. Nothing more than a beast. And I cannot guarantee it wasn't connected to his experiments. I don't care. Give me the formula, Doctor. Here it is. But please, be very careful. You're entering uncharted territories here. This is what science has always been about, Dr. Reed. Thank you, thank you so much. I can't say it's been a pleasure, but we're both scientists, and I am grateful you asked me to undertake this search for you. I have something for you, then. It is the most precious thing I have to give, even more important than the Swanborough secret recipe. There is really no need for payment. Please have it, Dr. Reed, I insist. I'm sure you'll find it more useful than I would. Goodbye, Mr. Swanborough. I'll leave you now. Wandering in this part of town at night, you're either brave or a fool.
I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Do you need help, sir? I think I'm fine. But what happened to my jailer? Be careful. He's as vicious as he is strong. You don't have to worry about him anymore. What happened here? I am Tadao Kimura. I was imprisoned by this lunatic for several days. I thought I was going to die here. You're not going to die now, Mr. Kimura. If you hurry, you should be able to get home safely. It seems that I owe you my life. You have all my gratitude, Dr. Reed, since it is the most precious thing I possess. Goodbye, Mr. Kimura. Take care. Stay back, beast! Thank you. 